welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a monthly favorites video. I honestly haven't done one of these for the past two months, I think. Um, I kind of slacked off a bit and I honestly haven't been trying like a lot of new things, but I do have some favorites that I have been using consistently, so I wanted to share them with you. I don't have a lot of beauty. I actually have a mixture of... Um, like skincare, makeup, and some snacks. So we'll start off with um, some nail items that I've been loving. This first one is called um, Help My Finger. I think it's just like a base coat or like um, it's like a it has calcium in it so it helps um, with your nails and it it prevents your nails from getting brittle which is a problem that I have so this helps a lot like you could just use it under your um, nail color or you can use it by itself if I use it by itself um, I just use two coats and it looks um, it looks it has like a pretty effect on it I don't I have nail polish on my nails right now so I can't show anything um, but this is from Etude House and I forgot how much this was at the actual store, but I repurchased this online from eBay. I think I got free shipping, um, and it was about $6 just for this by itself. And it's not bad for something that actually works really, really well and from um, Korea. So this is an item that I've been loving for a while. Another nail item that I've been loving is this Julep Oxygen Performance Top Coat. It comes in a little bottle like this. And um, I believe on the Julep website, I think it's about $18. So if you're not a Julep Maven, I believe it's $18. Um, that's full retail price. But if you are a Maven, um, you get it for 20% off, I think for about like $14 or so. Plus you get free shipping. Um, so that's a pretty good deal, especially if you're in Hawaii because free shipping is like finding gold here. The reason why I love this is because it definitely um, dries your nail polish quickly. I find that this is my holy grail when it comes to um, fast drying top coats because it it just dries everything so quickly. Like I like to paint my nails at night and by the time I wake up in the morning I have like little imprints and I guess like embossed nails and that's no fun. That's not cute, not, especially if I didn't want it. Um, so this actually dries it super quickly. Um, I just put one coat on top of my nail color once um, I feel the need to and it dries it super quickly. Like I'm honestly amazed on how um, good this is. This is actually, I've used this quite a lot so it's actually gotten a little goopy and when I when it gets like that, it gets stringy, so I can't even use it anymore. Um, so I do have to purchase a new one, but I am happy to repurchase this item again. So that is it for my nail care items. I have some um, facial products that I want to talk about. This first one is called the Pure Lease or Pure Lease um, Gentle Soy Milk Cleanser and Remake makeup remover. Um, it's a 4-in-1. It's sulfate-free, non-drying, gently washes away dirt and makeup, even mascara, and soothes and tones skin. I believe this is the sample size. I got this in an Ipsy bag um, a couple months ago, I believe, and I've been using it with my Clarisonic, which I love. And um, I find that when I do use mascara and I do use it with my um, Clarisonic. I kind of um, rub it in so it can wash away my mascara and it actually does. It does a really really good job. Um, and oh. and the scent is it's not bad. 
I mean, there's soy milk in it, so it smells, I don't know how to describe it, but it, it's not a bad smell. It's a good smell. Um, and there's also white tea in here that calms and soothes the sensitive skin and protects from cellular damage. But yeah, I've been using this with my Clarisonic lately and it really does me good. The next facial item that I want to talk about are these cleansing wipes. They're the absolute um, makeup cleansing tissues and these are in the fresh aloe extract scent. I'm very picky with my um, my face wipes. If it burns um, my eyes or my skin that's like a definite no-no. Um, I find that a few um, drugstore makeup wipes do that, like the Say Yes To, I think, blueberry ones. They do burn my skin. So I'm, only, I'm glad I only bought um, one of those because I've heard so much good things about them, but they did not work for me. They smell good, but they, they do not. Um, this also does a good job of making removing my makeup completely especially my mascara so and my eyeliner I, I always have trouble removing um, my eyeliner with my um, my makeup remover wipes and these I got at Ross these were only $2.99 they were a 33 pack it's actually kind of a weird number but um yeah, they're, I guess they're regular $6. I'm not too sure where you can find these other than Ross. Um, but maybe I can search it and put a link down below if you guys are interested. I believe Ross had a bigger pack. I think it was 60 tissues, so um, double the amount for I think $4.99 for about $2 more. That's a pretty good price for something that does its job well. Um, but yeah, I'll find the link, hopefully, and put it down below if you guys are interested in purchasing. The last um, makeup item or face-related item that I wanted to talk about are these liquid lipsticks. Um, so far, I just have li liquid lipsticks from Stila, um, Anastasia Beverly Hills, and LA Splash. I do have... Um, swatch videos and a mini review coming up so hopefully um, that'll be up after this after this one maybe sometime after I'm still working on it but be on the lookout for that and I have been loving these lately because I love anything matte matte lipsticks matte eyeshadow I love like even matte nails and all that and these are incredible they are non transferable um, they have pretty good coverage as far as color um, they're non drying except for um, the LA splash it is drying than a little bit more drying than the other two but I can still wear it and it's still comfortable and this one is actually um, it actually stays on like the most I guess even with a an oil-based um, cleanser it still doesn't budge as opposed to these two these budge a little bit easier with an oil-based um, makeup remover but these are so pretty and I know that Anastasia Beverly Hills is coming up with new colors this month, I believe in like two weeks or so, and I'm probably going to add more. <sighs> and I heard MAC is also going to be having their own line of liquid lipsticks, which I'm not surprised, honestly. They got to keep themselves in the game since everybody else is coming out with these liquid lipsticks. But these are incredible. You guys have to check these out. So moving on to food items, I have this cranberry oat healthy natural cookies from Simply Indulgent Gourmet. They're basically these oatmeal cookies with um, cranberry in them. I have a few in here so I can show you. 
then there's just these like miniature cookies like this. They're like pretty much bite sized and they're so good. And I usually don't like oatmeal cookies, but these are really good, especially with the cranberry. And um, there's no high fructose corn syrup in these since they are natural. Um, I got these at Ross. These were $3.49. And I guess actual, actual, I guess actual retail price is $5. And I haven't heard of this brand or even seen um, anything from this before other than Ross. Um, so I am going to have to Google this and put a link down below if you guys are interested in um, finding these or purchasing they can I wouldn't doubt if they were at like a Whole Foods or um, like a organic grocery store or something like that so the last um, food item that I have I only have two for this video and this one is called um, the sweet and salty bugles so they're basically um, the original bugles covered in caramel so obviously it's sweet and salty but don't mind the bag I was kind of eating a little bit and I kind of ripped it open because I loved it so much but <laughs> they look like this they're just covered in like like a sweet caramel coating I guess uh, You, if you like sweet and salty, this is definitely your snack. And I can't find these in my local grocery store yet. Um, I googled it and I think they might be at Kmart. But I'm not too sure. I haven't checked it out yet. But I hope so because I would definitely stock up on these. Um, my boyfriend bought these at, at a gas station. And gas stations can be kind of expensive. This was two forty nine, I think this says, for, for a small bag. So, I think the, the one at Kmart is double the size for the same price, too. But they're so good. Every time he asks me if I want something from the gas station, I'm like, you know what I want? I want bugles. So sweet and salty bugles. Those are so good. I need to find those like wholesale or big sats. And the last item that I have to talk about in this video is a random one. Um, it's actually a game on my iPad. It's called um, Restaurant Story 2. Let me just open that up. It kind of looks like that. Oh, let me I close this. Don't mind our big faces. So, it looks like that. It's basically like a cooking um, type of game. Like, you have your own restaurants, you buy vegetables, you have your own farm. Um, set everything up. And I've been playing this for, let's see, according to the app, I've been playing this for. 38 days that's how long my restaurant has been open and I don't know why I like this game so much I think I like it because um I don't know it's always like progressing I don't know it it there's always something like to add on it's not just the same thing all the time even though that's what you can do but like there's like a market, like a general store, there's a butcher, there's a veggie market, a seafood shop, I don't know, it's so fun. <laughs> and then like you just, you have like a street market, oh I need sugar actually, and mayonnaise, <laughs> and salmon. <laughs> but yeah, I've been loving this game so far, I don't know why, but maybe it's because I eventually want to have like my own bakery someday I don't know if that has anything to do with it but maybe because I guess I like cooking for people and I make them happy my people are happy in my restaurant 
So yeah, this is called Restaurant Story 2. I'll put the link down below. Um, and you guys can probably download it if you want to play. So that is it for my monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, thumbs up if you do and comment down below if you guys want to see more of these videos or if you have any more suggestions. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! I'm li literally so obsessed that I have like ooh, all of these right here. Like, if there was one thing that I would collect as far as makeup, it would probably be lipsticks um, and eyeshadows. I love eyeshadows and mascaras. Oh my god, I love everything. But yeah, I these I you can definitely call me a lipstick junkie. <laughs>